Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Boone coming at you all with a brand new video. I should say you're Vlad Boone because today we're going to be talking about Palace and all the stuff I've picked up from this season. This is kind of an experimental video today because I've never really done a full unboxing dedicated just to Palace and I've held on to like all of my orders from this season just for today's video. So drop a like if you want to see more Palace content. I know you guys love me sitting there in the freaking queue for 20 decades while my shit sells out but you know what if we can get at least like I don't know 850 likes that's such a random number on this video I promise you guys I'll be doing way more palace content Honestly, I have some absolute heat for this video. I'm really excited because I've had to hold off on unboxing this stuff for a while. So let's get into it. Like I said, drop a like if you enjoy this palace content and let's begin. Man, who am I kidding? I almost didn't shout out the Discord for this video. But if you want more help with Cop and Palace, maybe you need to get a slot because shit sells out so damn quick now. Or if you just want to see like the web store layout before I release, feel free to drop a sub on the channel. Hit me up on my Instagram at Boone. I'll add you to the group. I'm up before like every single palace drop and I actually try to give a lot of resale tips for my pally pals um, I know some of you are triggered by me saying that but don't worry it's kind of weird a lot of the stuff that resells on palace actually sits for like a pretty decent amount of time you'll see some of those low-key resale items in this video but let's just get started um, our first package is actually going to be my most recent order from palace and I can't cap this is the one item in this entire unboxing I did not manual myself now this right here was a week I needed to get a slot ran for me and that's why I'm telling y'all to go join the discord I tried manual for this as well I took a L it was so shitty too man because this was one of my cleanest checkouts like on God I was flying through the website and I still took a L but honestly I'm not even surprised because this puppy right here might be my favorite item it is my favorite item who am I kidding of the entire palace season the ye old jeans I sound so stupid saying that pretty much the all over old English logo jeans um, these absolutely levitated off the website like they were David Blaine or some shit. They did some witchcraft <laughs> Because like I said, I checked out so quickly this week and I still took the L Thank the Lord's man this slot came through and I was able to secure a size 30 pair And I've been itching like a damn crack fiend waiting for this to arrive because like I said This is my favorite item of the season. I cannot wait. To oh, yeah Oh yeah, the quality off the rip feels so nice. So these are a size 30. And if you don't know, Palace pants definitely are like more of a straight leg fit, very similar to Supreme. Of course, these are about to get tried on on site. I've been so excited to put these on body ever since I saw them in the lookbook. These were definitely like the one item that just jumped out to me. And look at this attention to detail on like the little inner lining of the pocket. You got a triferg. Um, you also have, I believe this is the pattern they put on sticker packs. Also, by the way, I'm not wearing pants right now. It's lit. Of course, let me also show this. They always got this little palace spell out on the back side of their pants. That shit does look pretty damn clean. And there we go. We got them on body. I'll show y'all some better like clips of me actually standing with these on. But dude, I absolutely love these pants. They fit like perfectly. I'm actually so happy with the fit of them. Um, definitely not too baggy, but also not some like PacSun skinny ass jeans. So if you guys were like hesitating at all on buying these, I would go for them. I don't even think they're selling for that crazy high, which honestly blew my mind. I thought these things were gonna go for like three or 400 right away. The retail total for them was like $200, which is so absurd, but that fucking palace tax, man, I swear to God, like this sales tax, so painful. I paid $18 in sales tax. That's just disgusting, but it was worth it. I love these jeans, but let's move on. And oh, buddy, we got a big multi-cart of bricks. Um, well, this right here is straight up an item that sat on the website for like two decades. I don't think this thing's ever gonna go out of stock and it's not gonna go out of style either because I don't know, I just had to do it to them. It is kind of ironic I bought this because you currently can't use like your own bags at grocery stores. So this is kind of pointless for the time being, but I swear to God, one day I'm gonna be dripping on them so damn hard. The cute little cashier lady finna be like, God damn, he got that palace reusable. Shit, he loved the earth and he be fitted. Uh, but this thing's actually pretty dope. Um, it was so cheap. These are like 12 bucks and just sit on the website. I figured like I use reusable bags. I might as well get a palace one. So um, really random pickup, but we have way more inside. Oh, we got some boxes. I honestly do not remember what I got in this order. I just know it's all bricks and no. 
Bro, Palace did me so dirty. My sticker was like already pre peel. Damn, bro. So RIP to that fallen sticker. I do have to say the one thing that bothers me the most with Palace is the fact that they don't slide you like different design stickers, kind of like Supreme. Um, we all know they do like the sticker pack for Palace, but it's like, damn, bro, you really can't just throw us those stickers for free. Like, come on, son. You're charging us sales tax. Scratch my back a little bit over here. I'm absolutely destroying this box. So RIP. But inside we. We got oh a whole lot of hats let's go folks so these absolutely sat on the website but I actually thought these were so fire I'll take one out for you because there's way too much plastic on this I'm not gonna undies all of these because it would take a decade but we got the palace I think it's called like the washout um, hat and this thing is so damn wow. clean man I could not believe how hard these sat on the website and I feel like a lot of people overlook this but bang, bro tell me that is not like the hardest back strap of a hat I absolutely love that detail right there um, now I will throw this on the head I can promise you it's gonna look really really bad I don't know why but palace hats fit my head like dookie also this thing smells like like fish like this actually smells so freaking bad bro <laughs> this is terrible and here we go here's the fit of it <laughs> It looks so bad on my head. I don't know what it is, man. These hats look so trash. It makes my head, I don't know. I just want it off my head. That's all I know. Um, really sick hat, though, for the person that can actually rock it, which is not me. Again, like, I look so bad in these, bro. But as you guys saw a second ago, I got a ton of these. We got the purple colorway. I showed you the black color. This is the navy. Um, they're honestly, like, all the exact same as this one with the back strap and everything. And if y'all thought that was the entire order, you don't know me. Like, I stay wasting my money. We got way more. Um, oh, wow, this thing is actually so small, man. We have the little sun pin. This thing is low-key disappointingly tiny, like holy shit. This is like scary reminiscent of the disappointment Lauren felt when I first took my pants off. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm hung as fuck. It's time to stop. <laughs> what am I doing, bro? What is happening to this video? Now, this right here, boys, this was honestly like my favorite item of this entire cart, if it'll focus. It's kind of cringy, but this is one of my favorite items of the season. That's Steve Austin, a uh, stone cold little pin bag. This whole skull concept in general is definitely like one of my favorite designs this season. Definitely want to get that mug. I'm actually so hyped I got that, but um, alongside, we got more hats. The green colorway. I literally got every color, if you guys could not tell. And we also got this kind of weird sun hat that's like got a little back flap and stuff. Um, I'm not gonna undies this one just cause like, I don't know. I feel like there's not much more explaining to do. I think this might even still be on the site, but I just think this is a dope hat. So I went and got one, but damn, that was a big ass order. So I guess let's just hop into the next one. And next up, I actually have no idea what's inside and it is another one of these. God damn it, bro. Um, so we have another uh, just little shopping bag, yada, yada, yada. And another box that's gonna be very difficult for me to get open. And our finale item of the order is, oh, wow, okay, let me show you guys this one. Our final item of the order, I actually like super forgot I bought this, but this thing is actually hard as hell in person, dude. Um, I don't know the name of this one, I forgot it. But damn, bro, if this shit did not look so boofy, goofy on my head, this would be right to the personal, dude. That is a fat dude. Damn, this is actually so fucking hard. I did not think this hat was even that dope. I'm gonna try it on. Ooh. Stop it. Never again, dude. I'm never putting a palace hat on my head ever. But yo, this thing, oh my dear lord. Like, the more I look at it, I have not seen this many patches on a hat, like, ever, bro. There's so many on this. Y'all slept. I don't know what these are going for. I don't even know if they're really reselling, but they should be, man. Sometimes people just sleep on palace. Like, this is actually such a hard concept. I really enjoy this hat. Oh, and we also got, oh, another one of these pins. I'm telling y'all, I absolutely love these little skull pins. So I had to get another. And if Finally, we got our Trifrig sticker. That brings us to our final order of the video, but don't worry, y'all. I'm not slacking for you guys. We got some more heat in here you have not seen yet, and I won't lie. This is the one item I'd already unboxed before this video because I had to see this one in person, man. Like I just had to try it on. Make sure it fit, because I really was not sure. Woo! We got the Palace Happy Six Jacket. Now, I... 
do not Isaac. know what happened, but this somehow ended up sitting for several weeks, almost an entire season, on the palace website, which was a joke. That shit was actually pathetic. I cannot believe you guys let this sit for that long, because this jacket is so damn hard, man. I'm gonna throw it on for y'all in a second, but all embroidered. I absolutely love this logo, but I think that logo is so fire. Little touches all over the hand. We ain't smoke no stogies, but it's on the body. Let's throw it on right now. I'm already sweating in my room with the windows closed and the fan off, but let's just put a jacket on. That's gonna help. Now, boss, try to tell me that this does not go stupid hard. Like, I just, I love this jacket. I went with a size large. Fits me perfectly. I could not be happier. Um, you are able to like adjust the sleeves to my skinny ass wrist. You're even able to adjust the insides like this part right here, which I adore in jackets, man. I hate when you can't customize a jacket like that. Um, I'll fully zip it up, but even unzipped, man, this thing goes. Like I cannot believe this sat for so long. The material of the jacket's also really, really nice. It feels like a super thick cotton, I guess. I don't know like materials very well. And oh lordy lord, bro, I can't believe it. I, I really don't get how this sat for so long. Like, it makes no sense to me. I believe even the t-shirt version of this jacket's reselling pretty well. So, it, I was just so mind blown the jacket sat, but um, we got it. I'm so glad I did, because honestly, I think this thing is dope. You can style it so many different ways. Like, you can go full zip, which I usually would not do with this kind of jacket. Um, you can do this little half zip, you know, give them a little, little chest action, <laughs> or maybe not, um, but unzipped as well. They all look sick, and honestly, these also look kind of go with these jeans not really but like i'm pallied up let's go boys we got one final item though to show off in this video um and this is probably like the best resell item i well actually these jeans do be flipping but this is the best low-key resell item i got um you guys watched me cop this week one in a live cop video and some of you might have laughed at me been like oh my god bloom cop the brick what a clown and if you had that energy you played yourself, because I'll pull up that StockX photo right now. These are flipping, flipping, bro. Um, we got the Palace Boonie little, like, sun hat work. I'm not going to fully do it, but you can actually, like, peel off um, this little palace logo and put on this little black one that customization alone makes this a banger But when you add on the fact that the inner half of it has Come on. Let me show it um, this chick's face like vibing off the acid or something Dude, that's just like a touch you do not see other brands make like I just think that is such a sick little hit You can actually pretty can you? Oh shit, bro. You can honest to God like pretty much put this inside out Like I didn't think you'd actually be able to but it doesn't even look bad Like you do have a weird label kind of but bro. Okay, you can actually like make damn this hat really leveled up on them now as tradition for ridiculous headwear on my channel I have to put it on the dome ski. Let's see. All I know is this is gonna look better than that freaking palace hat man Let's take a look. What do y'all think? Do I look like a witch or what? Um <laughs> I did like these tags are not helping. I definitely look goofy as hell in this. It honestly still doesn't really fit my head, man. I don't know what it is. My head's just too fat for this earth, but this hat is so sick. Not on my head, but I'm super glad that I did pick this one up. Um, it's reselling, like I said, crazy well. I probably will be selling it. If you guys want to buy some of the stuff in this video, Seattle Select pull up on me. That's going to do it for this video. As a little treat to the people that made it to the end, I'll show you me without a hat on. It's not a fun sight, so let's just switch that up. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, more Palace content, all you gotta do, drop a like, maybe comment what you think of some of these clothes. I feel like Palace just gets so slept on, man. And I would love to actually like make a YouTube community for Palace. I feel like it's so lacking here on YouTube with Palace content, we gotta get it lit. It's been your boy, Boone. I'll see you in the next one, if there is a next one. I'm sorry I'm so annoying, but like this video, I promise I'll do more Palace content. I'll see y'all later. Spin your boy Boone, I'm out. I'm sweating so fucking much in this jacket, bro. Peace. I went down again. Would you